One of the most popular meteor showers of the entire year is about to peak. I am talking about the Perseids. Now, that's only if you're catching this video before the night of August 12th into 13th. However, there's going to be one thing that throws a monkey wrench into your sky gazing plans. Just a couple of nights ago, we were all outside gawking at the brightness of the full sturgeon moon. But we're not too far off from that. The moon will be over three quarters full. That will decrease the amount of meteors we'll be able to see on the peak night of the Perseids. The American Meteor Society is forecasting that due to the gibbous moon, visibility of meteors will be reduced by about 75%. Digging into their website a little bit, I found normal rates seen from rural locations, 50 to 75 meteors per hour at best. So we're talking maybe up to 20 meteors per hour with that significantly reduced visibility due to the moon. Here is a look from Baltimore, Maryland at midnight on the 13th. You see Perseus, that's the namesake of the Perseid meteor showers and the constellation from which the meteors seem to appear from not too far away from the moon, Saturn's also there hanging out as well. You might be thinking, okay, because the constellation and the moon are close together, that's why we can't see too many of those meteors. Not so much, because you can see the meteors flying anywhere in the sky, but the moon is also brightening the entire night sky as well. So because of that, it's washing out the whole sky, so only the brightest of the Perseid meteors will be able to be seen. Looking ahead, the Orionids is going to be the next major meteor shower that will be active. And it appears, according to AMS meteors, the moon will be 2% full on the night that the Orionids peaks. Are you still gonna try and catch some Perseid meteors on the peak night or any night thereafter, even with this anticipated decrease in the amount of meteors you'll be able to see? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.